Hello everyone, got five dirty jokes for you today. So a young man walks into a bar looking annoyed and sullen. What's the matter, son? Asks an older patron. The young man sighs. I have a girlfriend who's very nice and very pretty. So, what's the problem? Actually, she's not just pretty. She's the most beautiful woman I've ever met in my life. That sounds great. Not only that, she also adores me and wants to be close to me at all times. What could be better? The thing is, she's from a very religious family. She doesn't believe in sex before marriage. It's driving me crazy. When we get married, if we even get married, it's not gonna be for another year or two. What am I going to do? I don't know how long I can take this anymore. The old man lets out a long whistle. I see. Well, son, let me tell you. When I was your age, I had a girlfriend just like that. Kind, gorgeous, loving. Had a heart of an angel and a figure of a she-devil. She drove me wild like no other girl could, just the sight of her. And the thing is, son, she did believe in love before marriage. Okay, so what happened? Well, son, what happened is we made love. Lots of my tea dying in the morning, in the evening, in the barn, in the church, on the back porch and in the woods. We did it in every position known to man and probably came up with a few new ones ourselves. Oh, it was great. It was like manna from heaven. And the more we made love, the more I fell in love with her. I knew then and there she was the one for me. Well, what happened then? I asked her to marry me, and she said yes. And we've been married ever since. That's 45 years and 14 days to this date. Oh, I see, said the boy. He looked at the man properly for the first time. He looked old, tired, and worn. He was stooping over the counter and his eyes were joyless and apathetic. In fact, he looked like the saddest, most wretched creature in the entire bar. After a pause, the boy coughed awkwardly. Sir, can I just ask? You don't look very happy. So what really happened? Well, son, like I said, my wife believed in sex before marriage. But it just turns out she doesn't believe in it after marriage. <laughs> so once upon a time, there was a blind man named Bob who was seeking employment. Despite his disability, Bob had an amazing sense of smell, which he believed could help him in a unique way. He decided to apply for a job at a lumber store, thinking that his olfactory skills could be put to good use there. Bob confidently walked into the lumber store and introduced himself to the boss, Mr. Johnson. Good morning, sir. Bob greeted warmly. I'm Bob, and I'm interested in working here at your lumber store. Mr. Johnson, intrigued by Bob's courage, decided to give him a chance to explain how he could be of any use. Bob, said Mr. Johnson, I appreciate your interest, but you see, this job requires visual inspections of the wood we sell. You won't be able to see what kind of wood it is, and that could be a problem. Unfazed, Bob smiled and replied, You're absolutely right, sir, but I have an extraordinary sense of smell. I believe I can identify the different types of wood just by their scent. Intrigued but still doubtful, Mr. Johnson led Bob to the warehouse where stacks of lumber were neatly arranged. All right, Bob, Mr. Johnson said, handing him a piece of wood, tell me what kind of tree this is. Bob took the wood in his hands, sniffed it thoughtfully, and then confidently stated, it's oak. Mr. Johnson was taken aback but decided to test him further. He handed Bob another piece of wood, and again, Bob's nose did not disappoint. This one is birch, Bob declared with a grin. Impressed, Mr. 
Johnson thought he'd give Bob one last chance to prove himself. He took Bob to a different part of the warehouse and handed him a third piece of wood. Bob took a deep whiff and said, it's organ pine. Mr. Johnson couldn't believe it, Bob was right each time. However, he still wasn't sure if hiring a blind man was the right decision for his business. To put Bob's olfactory skills to the ultimate test, Mr. Johnson came up with an unconventional challenge. He took Bob into the office and called his old secretary, Susan. Susan, he said, I need your help with something unusual. He explained the situation to her, and although she was a bit hesitant, she agreed to participate. With Susan standing on the desk, Mr. Johnson led Bob toward her, lifted her skirt, and said, Bob, can you tell me what this is? Bob took a moment, his nose twitching as he sniffed the air around Susan. After a few awkward moments, he finally exclaimed, Oh, this one is difficult. If I didn't know better, I'd think it's the toilet board from a fishing boat. <laughs> so an old man goes to the drugstore and asks the pharmacist, Do they make any pills that can help a man be more confident in making love with his wife? The pharmacist replies, certainly, that sort of thing is actually more common than you may know. I take these pills myself and it works quite well. The old man asks, can you get it over the counter? The pharmacist thinks for a moment and says, yeah, probably if I took two or three of them at once. <laughs> so a man walks into a bar and sees another man at the bar with a dog next to him. He says to him, hey there, does your dog bite? And the man says, no mate, my dog's the friendliest creature in the world, you can do anything with him. So he goes to pat the dog and it absolutely goes for him and by the time three other men in the bar manage to get it off him he's bleeding in half a dozen places and his clothes are torn to shreds. He says to the man at the bar, I thought you said your dog didn't bite. That's not my dog, he answers. <laughs> so a guy goes to a girl's house for the first time, and she shows him into the living room. She excuses herself to go to the kitchen to get them some snacks and drinks. As he's standing there alone, he notices a cute little vase on the mantel. He picks it up, and as he's looking at it, she walks back in. He says, what's this? She says, oh, my father's ashes are in there. He turns green in disgust and horror and goes, geez, oh. She says, yeah, he's too lazy to go to the kitchen to get an ashtray. <laughs> hmm. <laughs>